What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. In this channel, I give you tips on video production, how to run your business, how to talk to clients, how to get more money. Something that we all wanna do as filmmakers. Pretty much gonna make this video covering two tips on how to overcome pricing objections. Let's get right into it. First things first, when you are having a sales call with a client over the phone or face to face, I want you to remember this two things. Number one, Always have a smile on your face. Uh, talking on the phone with someone, remember to have a smile on your face. It really sends off it's good energy vibes. You, even yourself, you just feel a lot better. And you just put that into you know your mindset. Every time you pick up a call, if a client's calling you, you're about to get on a call, put a smile on your face. I'm telling you, it, it works wonders. Second thing is talk about money first. If you're talking to the business owner and talk about money last, if you're talking to a marketing director, a VP of marketing, anyone that pretty much is overseeing marketing for a company, you wanna talk about money last. Here's the reasons why. Number one, if you're talking to the business owner first, normally, if you're talking to the business owner, they normally don't have a lot of money. And no offense to business owners out there, it's just in the sense that, you know, most companies that have marketing departments, they actually have budgets for big productions and things like that. So normally if you're talking to a business owner, you're gonna be somewhere in between the ballpark of like, you know, 500 bucks to like $2,500 for video that they're looking. So you wanna find out right away, at least get an idea of what their price point is for how much money they're looking to spend. Now, if someone calls you and you're like, hey, I'm the, I work in the marketing department for so and so and so, looking to get a video and a quote, great. This is when you wanna dive in, you wanna ask lots of questions, and um, you know, I'm gonna get back to the main topic here, but having this kind of uh, key point in mind while you're having this conversation is really gonna help you. Another tip, take notes. Take notes throughout the whole process. You wanna make sure that you're able to come back and pull up any points that your potential client or customer has brought up. So like I said, if you're talking to someone that's a marketing department, you pulled up their website while you're talking to them, you're like, hey, listen, I see that you guys have a video here. Video looks great. Why are you not working with this vendor anymore? And they're gonna tell you things like, you know, well, like, you know, we decided to go a different direction or things like, oh, they didn't deliver on time. We didn't, we didn't like the style of what they were doing in the past, really looking for something fresh, whatever. So they're like, yeah, you know, we worked in the past, the video was great. I'm like, great, what was the budget for something like that that you guys spent in that video? This is gonna be your first key into getting an insight of how much money they spent in the past. So be like, hey, in that previous video, we spent around $3,000. Great, so now you have an idea that this is pretty much what their mindset's gonna be based around of like, they spent $3,000 in the past, this is what their final product look like. Now, from this, this ammo, what it really allows you to do is to kind of dig in a little bit deeper and start to really understand about their goals that they have for their business. Now you get, you, you went over all the goals and understanding what they're looking for and you ask them, so what's the budget for this project? And they're gonna tell you things like, we don't have a budget yet, we're, we're price shopping, uh, you know, we're looking for quotes, we usually get three or four different quotes from businesses, we really just kind of wanna get an idea of what something like this goes for. So th these are some ways that you're able to rebuttal this. To so be like, hey, great, I um, totally understand, you wanna acknowledge what they're saying to you, uh, that you're listening. So think of me as a realtor, and you know we're looking for houses, right? We're house shopping, I don't wanna waste your time taking you to look at multi-million dollar homes when your budget is around $500,000. So with that being said, you know, I don't wanna to put together a proposal for you that doesn't fit your budget. What is a price range of something that I could put together for you? The video didn't freeze, I just stopped talking and that's exactly what you should do. Don't say anything, let them speak first. This is gonna create a moment of awkwardness and the first one that speak loses. They're gonna be able to fill in this gap. And either they're gonna tell you like, hey, you know, we were thinking something like $5,000. Great, or they're telling you something like, hey, we're thinking something like $3,000. So if they don't give you a price, which will happen, you know, they were gonna probably try to, you know, judo you back with something like, well, can you just provide us with a couple different quotes and, you know, we can take it from there. You'd be like, sure, great, no problem. So these quotes, are we thinking something like, 20,000, 15,000, and 10,000. They're gonna be like, oh no, we're thinking something more around like, you know, 
5,000 or $7,000. So now you have an idea of what you're able to put together for them. And this is huge and super important is that you never want to send out a proposal to a client without verbally giving them a price first. Because most of the time, you know, what, what can happen is that it gets sticker shock and you never hear back from them. So being able to tell them a price verbally over the phone or face to face, they're pretty much going to agree to a price beforehand that fits within their budget. So you're not wasting time putting together a proposal or an email to get, to get that information over to them. To backtrack a little bit, in this situation, you know, the client told you that in the past that they spent $3,000 in a video and you know, you're trying to push it for like 5k. So in this situation, what you can do, you know, you bring up the fact of like, Hey, I know you mentioned in the past, you spent around $3,000 for the video, you know, your vendor didn't deliver on time. Would it be worth it to you if we were able to meet your deadlines and deliver exactly what you're looking for? You know, how much more is that worth to you? Do you think we could do something for $5,000 if we're able to meet what you're looking for? And you know, you want to use pretty much that ammunition that they gave you to be able to counter them on any price and objections that they might have on this. So just remember, you know, in the past, what have they done? These are the reasons why you want to take notes because you're able to, you know, sit there, look at what they talked about and be able to ring up any of these points for them. Now, that was the first part of the whole price and objection and getting the client to talk about their budget. And if you guys want a more in-depth video about this, let me know in the comments. Uh, no, this is kind of just to help you guys get out of the gate and just start talking to your client. So you talk to the client and you know, you're telling them the 5K, let's say you send out the proposal, you know, you talk to the client beforehand, they said the 5K was great. And now, you know, you followed up a couple of days later and you, and they tell you, I'll let you know. Well, here's the thing. If a client tells you, I'll let you know, it means one or two things. Number one, they're not interested or number two, they think the price is too high. So what you need to do is get on the phone and call them. Do not try to do this conversation over email with them. You want to be able to pick up the phone, call them so you could actually pick up on any verbal cues that you're going to hear from the client. When you hear the, I'll let you know, you want to go ahead and call them out on this. You're like, Hey, listen, I've been doing this for a really long time. And normally when a client tells me, I'll let you know, normally means that they're either not interested in the project. I I wouldn't be here talking to you today if I didn't think that we could help you. What is it about this project that's hesitating you or preventing you from moving forward? Same thing. You don't want to say anything. You want to let them speak first. So in this situation, you're probably like, Hey, you know, we like your work. We think the price is too high. You'd be like, great. Totally understand. 5k is a lot of money. Uh, you know, if we're able to provide you a discount, would we, would we be able to move forward with this project? Same thing you want to hear, you want to let them buy into the whole thing. You want to get them to start saying yes. They'll be like, yeah, if you got a discount, you know, we would be able to move forward with this project. Awesome. We could definitely work on that for you. What kind of discount did you have in mind? You don't want to tell them a discount, how much it is, because you know, they might have been thinking like, you know, 200 bucks and you're thinking $500 or a thousand dollars, whatever the situation might be, let them name the discount that they're looking for. And then from there, you have to be willing to walk away from the deal and understand that either this is going to work out for you or it's not, you know, if the client's asking for, you know, we were thinking 2,500 instead of 5,000 you'd be like, okay, well for 2,500 instead of a 30 second video, we can make you a 15 second video. How does that sound for you? You know, I learned this from Chris though, and this is all a negotiation. So if the client's not willing to meet you at your price, you don't have to meet them at their deliverables, you know, be able to counter them on their pricing, but also be willing to walk away from the project. And this is huge. Awesome. So if the client tells you, you know, that, you know, if, Hey, if you drop the project down to 4k, we'd be able to do it. Be like, Hey, awesome. So if I send your proposal right now for 4k, with the invoice or 50%, we're able to do business today. And they'd be like, yes. So now you're going to go ahead, put together the email, get that over to them right away. Do we even send out a full proposal? Just get something be like, Hey, we're going to deliver one 30 second video for 4k for this client, get them to set, to agree to that in an email and then put together a proposal. All right, guys, that's going to be all for today. I want to keep this short and quick. If you're going to learn more about 
overcoming price objections, how to close more deals. Let me know specifically what you want to learn in the comments. And then I'm going to make a video for that. The and um, other thing is follow me on Instagram. Put your handle down in the comments. I'm going to choose one person every week to do a 30 minute call and pretty much answer any questions that you have about running a video production business. Uh, make sure to hit like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. I appreciate all of you guys and have an awesome day. Peace.